Hi, I'm Jeff Gerstmann, and welcome to GameSpot's video tour of Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Released in October of 2002 by Rockstar as the follow-up to its runaway hit Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City takes place in 1986 in Vice City, an exaggerated reproduction of Miami, Florida, and features you as mob thug Tommy Versetti, fresh out of prison and looking to make up for lost time. The game's depth and atmosphere is astonishing, and in an attempt to form some structure out of this maze of deviance, we've broken down the game into its seven major parts. The city, Tommy, other people, weapons, vehicles, missions, and procurable assets. One of the most recognizable features of Vice City is its wide scope of radio stations, each with its own DJ and 80s music genre. A box set of seven CDs was released for hardcore fans of both the game and the decade, and we've assigned a category to each of the seven music stations. Wave 103, where the boys wear more makeup than the girls. Smashing! Nothing blasts the painful memories of the 80s better than the new wave movement. This combination of synthesizers and big hair provides the backdrop for Vice City's story. Vice City's basic geography consists of two large islands in a tropical setting. It comes complete with beaches, a golf course, a lighthouse, and several docks and marinas for ocean access. The layout of the city is divided into sections ranging from rundown Little Haiti to the glamour of downtown and Starfish Island. Skyscrapers, an airport, a dome stadium, and a military base complete the city's backdrop. There are also several stores where Tommy can buy tools and weapons, or make a quick cash withdrawal in the form of everyone's favorite pastime, armed robbery. As game time carries from day to night, the city evolves as it would in real life. Neon lights fill the sky. Pedestrians go home and trade in their bathing suits for polyester. Prostitutes can be found wandering the street and gang activity increases. It was decked out in the hottest trends from the 80s, and allusions can be found to Atari, The Village People, Scarface, and Miami Vice. Philip Michael Thomas of Ricardo Tubbs fame loans his voice to the character Lance Vance, and Deborah Harry of Blondie provides the voice for the dispatcher of Kaufman Cabs, itself a clever reference to the classic 80s television show, Taxi. Now, if it's totally tubular, rad, or awesome, it's on Flash FM. Thrown into the midst of all this is you, Tommy Versetti, voiced by Ray Liotta. Tommy is sent to Vice City by the Ferrelli family to carve out a niche for their Liberty City-based operations. Using his fists, his wits, and his wallet, Tommy quickly takes to the Vice City lifestyle. As the money pours in, Tommy's wardrobe increases, from a polyester ensemble to an Adidas-esque tracksuit. His progress through the game is tracked by his criminal rating and his level of media attention, both listed on the game's pause menu. Tommy's athletic enough to walk for hours without rest and can jog for short distances as well. Tommy also has a wanted level that ranks from one to six stars. A minor crime warrants one star and a short chase from the authorities. Six stars? That denotes acts of pure bedlam and will see the National Guard, FBI, and helicopters on your tail. Bonuses set up for Tommy include 100 hidden packages hidden throughout the map and 30 rampages where a time limit is imposed for you to kill a large number of people with a specified weapon. Tommy can also receive a small good citizen bonus for helping police take down petty criminals. Whatever cruising means to you, here's music to cruise to. Emotion. Tommy isn't alone in Vice City, and the streets are full of tourists, sunbathers, mall rats, construction workers, the homeless, and overenthusiastic motorists. Police patrol the streets looking for trouble from any of the local gangs. They're the Haitians, Cubans, bikers, street wannabes, and even, well, uh, golfers. Other people who travel in a pack and won't back down from a fight include rent cops and your very own Versetti gang. Celebrity voice talent is around every corner, and most of the mission characters have a recognizable name behind them. Tommy can receive mission objectives from people such as Burt Reynolds, Tom Sizemore, Gary Busey, Lee Majors, and Louise Guzman. Other characters include a Dennis Hopper voiced adult film director, Lawrence Taylor is a retired football player, and Feruza Balk is Mercedes, daughter of the powerful Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. Each of the characters have their own personality and agenda and try to use Tommy to achieve their needs. The best of jazz from Radio Espantoso. The types of missions Tommy gets sent on expectedly range from simple to complex. The first mission in the game is to drive a girl to a club, but most missions will entail death and or destruction. Assassination missions, rescue operations, and protection assignments are broken up by a nice assortment of delivery runs, street races with cars, bikes, and boats alike, and of course, keeping a limo full of drunken British rockers above 50 miles an hour while they try to defuse a bomb on their way to their sold-out concert. 
Most side missions can be tackled at any point in the game, including remote-controlled vehicles, street races, and stadium events. Certain vehicles unlock related missions as well, such as taxis, police vehicles, fire trucks, ambulances, and a pizza delivery scooter. In a new addition to the Grand Theft Auto landscape, you can also purchase properties that unlock even more missions. But first, let me change the station. Soul music for lovers. Fever 105. Fever 105. As Tommy earns money, he can invest in various real estate ventures. They include an ice cream factory, a cab company, two clubs, a film lot, a shipyard, a print works, and a car dealership. Each venture, or asset, comes with missions of a criminal nature. For example, the Cherry Popper Ice Cream Company is a front used to deal drugs from an ice cream truck. Also, Sunshine Automotives has lists full of cars to steal a la Gone in 60 Seconds. In one of the game's more inventive missions, in order to keep an adult film studio in operation, Tommy must follow his top starlet in a helicopter while she meets up with a high-ranking politician back at his hotel. From a nearby balcony, Tommy can photograph the married senator and must flee back to his studio with the FBI in pursuit. Beyond these money-making assets, Tommy can also buy several different buildings to use as safe houses and save points. They range from a rooftop shack to a large house with multiple garages and a helipad. While other stations' listeners are at school, we're shoplifting. V-Rock. Most of the business in Vice City gets done with your own two hands, and Rockstar made plenty sure that there are plenty of guns to put in those hands. A new category system makes it easier to keep track of Tommy's arsenal. For example, a higher-powered shotgun will replace your weaker 12-gauge and so on. The more personal weapons in the game can be picked up at any Vice City hardware store and include a screwdriver, a hammer, a meat cleaver, a machete, and a chainsaw. Also scattered around the city, you'll find baseball bats, nightsticks, golf clubs, brass knuckles, and katanas. The grenade category ranges from a standard model to tear gas and Molotov cocktails. Handguns and submachine guns range from Colt 45s to Tech 9s, Mac 10s, Uzis, and MP5s. There are three types of shotguns and two sniper rifles. On the powerful end of the weapons scale are a rocket launcher, M60, flamethrower, and Jesse the Mind Ventura's favorite, a minigun. This is a Mr. Mr. Magic Magic Super Super Blast Blast! Blast! My city is large, and it would take hours to navigate on foot. Luckily, there are plenty of vehicles for Tommy to literally pick and choose from. See a nice car driving by? Simply open the door and pull the driver out, and you're on your way. Several new, well, new in 1986 anyway, vehicles are to be found in Vice City, including several boats and motorcycles. Helicopters, seaplanes, and even an Apache attack copter carry you through the air. Specialty vehicles include golf carts, airport luggage carriers, a hearse, a tank, and a dump truck. There are 30 different spots around the city known as unique jumps. Hit these at a high speed and you can watch your car float over buildings in slow motion. Landing these jumps properly is rewarded with cash. So that's Vice City. Now let's take a look at how all of these things blend together, set to the greatest song ever written, Sunglasses at Night by Corey Hart. 